Hi guys, good to see you. Uh, still going through Everyday Supernatural. Uh, it's part day today we're doing a page, a uh, new chapter, Do Whatever He Tells You, is the title of it. Page 75, 76, and the first bit of page 77. Uh, it talks in there about uh, Jesus turning water into wine. Um, and those of you who were at church three, four weeks ago, uh, when we did the outside service, you'll have seen that our I turn water into wine. Nice little uh, scientific chemical trip. A trick, not trip, a trick. Um, but Jesus did what his mum said. His mum, Mary, said Jesus sort it out. And he was like, woman, now is not the time. And, uh, and it's like, now's not the right time. And, and Mary was like, well, do it. And she said to the servants who were there, who were going, we've run out of wine, do as he says. And they did. And Jesus said, put water in there. And they'd have gone, what? What, put water in there? This is meant to be a wine jar? Why aren't we putting water in there? But they did as he said. And then he said, take out a glass and take it to the master of the ceremonies, which they did. And somewhere along that line, a miracle happened. And that was Jesus' first miracle. But these guys did as he said. And when they did as he said, when they were obedient to him, stuff happened. And often when we're obedient to Christ, it might sound crazy, it might sound stupid, it might sound daft. But if we test those things that God tells us to do. If we go, okay, I'll step out, I'll do that crazy, silly thing, and we'll see what happens. It's amazing what God does. One example, Life Dronfield, uh, the charity that I'm part of, that I had the vision for 10 years ago. It was, we were new to Dronfield. God, what do you want us to do here? We'd found a church we were happy at. Oh, oh, what do you want us to do? And I felt really strongly that God said he wanted a centre in Dromfield that wasn't a church, but was looked after by the church and uh, a place for us to meet our friends in our community and share God's love. And it was like, okay, but what does that look like? And it was over a period of time and testing that it was like, okay, we want to open a community centre that can really bless people, things that are missing in this town. We as church can provide those things together. But the most bonkers things was that we would do it as a church, not as the Baptist Church, not as the Church of England, not as St Philip's, not as St Paul's, not as the Oaks, but we do it as a church together and not just Dronfield, but those guys in Holmesfield, those guys in Unston and Appenal, and we'll do it as a collective group of churches. And people are like, but you're just gonna create loads of paperwork. Um, one guy was really keen for us to do it, but actually at Pentland Road by St Andrew's Church, there was a unit empty there, and he was like, let's go on and do it. And it, it, it would have been really easy to go, yeah, let's just do it as a church. One church, not the church. But I felt really strongly that it needed to be with all churches. And people were like, it will never work. Not all churches will get involved. But we're in a position now where we're moving forward, buying the halls. And all the churches in Dronfield, bar one, are on board. And that church who aren't yet on board, well, we're praying for them. And we're hopeful that they will come on board soon with the project. Following God, being obedient to, G to God, has led to this thing happen. And it's mad what's going on. I'm still just like, oh, man, huge amount of work. This is mental and crazy. But being obedient to God, sometimes, like regularly, it's not easy. Regularly. We may think we look daft or stupid, but he's done an amazing thing for us by dying for us. And I want to share that with other people. Uh, Mike ends that little few, few uh, paragraphs, that section in the book, uh, basically saying, we want to see the world changed. And it's like, I want to see the world changed. I want as many people to know about Jesus as possible. And sometimes God's plans are not obvious and they're not sensible just at that wedding filling up water jars at uh, wine jars with water was not a sensible thing to do you would ruin any wine then going in after it would be diluted down but they did as Jesus said and as they did as he said amazing things happened have a good week um, I'll see you guys next week for our next instalment for this so yeah get reading on in the book I'll see you all soon bye bye